Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with me for just a couple of minutes. Here, our focus is being better and healthier than yesterday. Are you better? Are you healthier than you were yesterday? Here, we don't compare ourselves to him or to her. We compare ourselves to who we were yesterday. Self-improvement has no end. Health has no finish line. They are lifelong journeys where we take it one day at a time, and here we do it together. So let's do this. Before I get into the main content, if you want to get in contact with me, email and Instagram are the best ways to get in contact. Email me at benpagedc at gmail.com and on Instagram, benpagedc. And if you're listening to this, go to Instagram, tag me on the episode, and I'll tag you right back and we get to know each other. I love to get to know the community and I would love to get to know you. So let's get on to the main content. Welcome back to another episode of the Wellness Farmer Podcast. Today's episode 295, and it is September 13th, 2022, and I am Ben Page, your host. This episode is pretty crazy because I'm going to talk about something that I have talked about the third episode of this podcast when it all started. I mean, I look at myself in the mirror and I see a lot more gray in my beard. Uh, it is hard for me to believe it. it. It feels just like yesterday that my beard was just brown and red. It almost doesn't make sense to me. How did this happen? I mean, where did it all go? I, I know a lot has happened in the years since my beard went from brown and red to gray and some brown. But man, it feels like it just flew by. So much I wanted to accomplish that I still haven't accomplished. But also, so much I've learned. It's hard to believe that I'm the same person just a couple years ago. Um, I'm, I'm so glad I can say I am not the same Ben I was seven years ago. I do believe I am better, nothing compared to what I want to become, but I am better, and that's a good thing. On September 14th, 2015, you know, 2015, I shared the third episode of this podcast. I wonder how many of you have been with me for that long. Um, if you've been with me, let me know. Send me an email at benpage at gmail.com or, or tag me on this episode on Instagram at benpagedc. Let me know if you if you listened to that third episode. That would be an honor to get to know to get to get to know you. But that episode was an episode that I was not planned. I remember that I had the first 10 episodes pretty much already done, but I felt I needed to share something different that really didn't have much to do with health as I was talking about it in that time. I mean, it does have to do with health. See, it was it was time management. So in its totality, time management does have a lot to do with our mental, our, mental, our physical, and, and even our spiritual health. But at that moment, it was, it was something that wasn't part of the plan. So I just pulled out my mic again and recorded a show that became episode 003 of the Wellness Farmer podcast about time and how precious it is. Precious it is. If you haven't listened to it, go back and listen to it and see how it really all started, the Wellness Farmer podcast, so many years ago. I'll leave a link so you can listen to it in the show notes. Go back and listen to that. See how much it's changed. <laughs> we get one try at this, and that's it. No second chances. We can't come back and do it all over again. I know we will go through life and waste time due to our own faults. I know because I'm just like you listening. I've done it. And done it more than once. In 
more times than I should have. Sometimes way more time than I should have. Which should have been a total of zero seconds. We shouldn't be wasting our time. Sometimes that feeling, the feelings of nothing even lasted days. Yep. They lasted days when I pretty much got nothing done. I just wasted my precious time sulking or irritated or mad or sad. It, it still happens. I mean, unfortunately, this weekend was one of those moments. Friday morning, a normal morning, blew up. And it affected me until Sunday afternoon. I was out of it. I couldn't understand why the Friday morning had blown up. I just didn't understand. It was should have been just a normal Friday morning. Mainly because I had prepared beforehand, making sure everything was going to go smoothly. <laughs> Wrong. It blew up. Didn't go smoothly. And it knocked me off for a whole weekend. It's just terrible. I don't get that back. That is gone forever. That weekend is gone. Well, in that episode so long ago, I talked about three ways to make sure we use our time as wisely as possible. It was learn from the past, enjoy the present, and plan for the future. The first and last parts are incredibly important, however, must only be done when we are fully in the present moment. If we want to take full advantage of every moment of our time, we have to live right now. Not five seconds in the past or the future, not ten years in the past, not five years in the future, but right now. This very second, we have to live now. All I can do is live right now and learn from what that weekend, learn from it. What must I change to make sure I'm able to use my time wisely if something similar happens? That is it. Because if I dwell on that moment of life saying, how could I have done that? I get stuck in the past and continue to waste precious time. Learn from the past. Try not to repeat it. But really, learn from it. Use the past as your teacher. Use your future as a type of mentor. Your future is what you want to become, what you want to achieve. Plan for it. To give yourself a higher possibility of that experience of the future. But make sure you are right here, right now, enjoying your present. I mean, I just have to throw a thank you out there so much for taking some of your precious time to listen to me right now. I surely hope you're enjoying this moment in your precious life. I'm hoping you're getting something out of this because you are using this precious moment of your time to listen to me talking. I share what I said in that episode so many years ago. Imagine, well, kind of, this is kind of what I said. Imagine every second in your life as a dollar that is deposited in a bank. You get about $86,000 deposited in your bank account every day that you get to spend, but at the end of every day, every cent not spent is lost. There's no rollover. You must spend the $86,000 every day. How are you going to spend those dollars? How are you going to spend those 86,000 seconds you get every day? That's it. 86,000. And if at 12 p.m. you haven't spent them all, what you didn't spend floats away as it waves goodbye forever. The only way we can do this is by learning from the past being present and planning for the future. That's how we can properly use those 86,000 seconds that have no rollover. It is that simple, but how difficult it can be if to implement. I can only say this because I am the living example of this. I know how difficult it is. 
I was crushed under a rock of uncertain future, of that uncertain future for way too many years of my life. It still wants to crush me. I think I've become just a little stronger where I can hold it just a little longer. There's still moments in my life where I look to the past, not to learn, but to be melancholic or angry at events that I believe were unjustified. It happens lesser and lesser, but it still happens. I've always tried to make this podcast as real as possible. So I'm on the same journey as you. You might be a couple steps ahead or maybe a couple steps behind, but we are all on the same journey that has no final destination called health. The most important asset we have in this journey, or one of the most important assets we have in this journey, is time. So why do I call it an asset? Well, because it is one of the most useful and most valuable things we have. And what I can promise is that we do have enough. Even if we have wasted so much, we have all the same amount of time, all the time in the world, to do what we must do, but to be able to accomplish that, which will be different for everybody, we have to do three things to the best of our ability. And I repeat one more time those three things. We must learn from the past, let the past be one of our best teachers, we must prepare for the future, set tough goals that will stretch you, and most importantly, we must be present right now. Be here right now. Listen to each and every word. Let each word I say sink deep within you and be here with me for this moment in time. This is what has been on my mind lately, and hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it helps you dig deep and find ways to use one of your most precious assets, time, to its potential. So you can reach your potential in every aspect of life, not just health. <laughs> Good times. Well, before I let you go, I just want to let you know that this podcast grows because you get the word out. If you leave a review, that's a great way to get the word out. So if you haven't had the opportunity, go to the Wellness Farmer podcast, go down to the bottom, you can click that button that says leave a review. Please rate and review this podcast. It's how we grow. If you never want to miss an episode and also get a book absolutely free called Earth and Us, Heal Naturally, join my email list at pastosbetterthisfarm.com. I also send out other things. A great way to support me and help me is by buying my books. It's a great way to also get the word out. Uh, Playing in the Dirt and the Four Pillars of Health are available on Amazon.com. The second edition of the Four Pillars of Health should be coming out soon. I'm writing a second edition. I'm updating it, so that'll be good. You can also get a short ebook called Mental Well-Being Made Simple, Playing in the Dirt and the Four Pillars of Health on my website. And if you use the code GIFT, after you, if you buy two books, you get... A, dis, a even bigger discount, so you get $10 a book. You can't beat that price. And if you haven't tried my Comfrey Self, don't wait any longer to experience a solve that works wonders on all the physical breaks, bumps, bruises, falls, cuts, scrapes, rips, and tears of life. That's also available on the website at pastelsvetersfarm.com. And finally, join my membership, where we go so much more deeper into how we bring the garden and our community in our connection to nature and earth into the forefront of our journey for greater health and well-being. You can get to know more, know more about that at pastelsbetterthisfarm.com slash subscription. Can't wait to get to know you personally, or at least through Skype or Zoom or whatever other method we have to get to know each other. All right, we will see you again. <laughs>